Hey there, science fans. Today, we're diving into the amazing world of enzymes. What are enzymes, you ask? Well, picture them as tiny, tireless workers inside our bodies, constantly speeding up chemical reactions. Without these microscopic marvels, life as we know it wouldn't exist. Enzymes are biological catalysts. That's a fancy way of saying they make chemical reactions happen much faster than they normally would. Imagine trying to build a house without any power tools. It would take forever, right? That's kind of how it is for our bodies without enzymes. They help us digest food, break down toxins, and even replicate our DNA. From the moment we wake up to the time we drift off to sleep, enzymes are hard at work, keeping us alive and kicking. Now, let's zoom in and see what makes these little helpers so special. Get ready for an exciting journey into the fascinating world of enzymes. Enzymes are like a diverse group of superheroes, each with its own unique power and purpose. Scientists have grouped them into six main categories based on the type of reactions they catalyze. Let's meet some of these molecular marvels. First up, we have the oxidoreductases. These enzymes are the masters of electron transfer helping molecules either gain or lose electrons. Think of them as the energy providers of the cell, playing a crucial role in processes like respiration. Next, we have the transferases, the ultimate molecular movers. They transfer specific chemical groups from one molecule to another, like passing a baton in a relay race. These enzymes are vital for building and breaking down molecules within our cells. Now, let's meet the hydrolases, the water-loving enzymes. They use water molecules to break down chemical bonds like miniature demolition experts. They're essential for digesting food, breaking down complex molecules into smaller, more manageable units. And those are just a few examples. We also have lyases, isomerases and ligases, each playing a crucial role in the intricate web of chemical reactions within our bodies. It's like a well-choreographed dance, with enzymes as the star performers. Enzymes are truly remarkable molecules with an impressive array of superpowers. Let's take a closer look at what makes them so special. First and foremost, enzymes are incredibly specific. Each enzyme has a unique shape, like a lock that only fits a specific key. This key is the enzyme's substrate, the molecule it acts upon. This lock and key model ensures that enzymes only catalyze very specific reactions, preventing chaos within the cell. Enzymes are also incredibly efficient, speeding up reactions by a factor of millions or even billions. Imagine cleaning your room in a snap. That's the kind of speed we're talking about. This catalytic power is what makes life possible at the cellular level. But wait, there's more. Enzymes are also reversible, meaning they can catalyze reactions in both directions. It's like having a car that can go forward and reverse with equal ease. This allows cells to maintain a delicate balance of chemicals, adjusting to changing conditions. And finally, enzymes are sensitive souls, easily affected by their surroundings. Factors like temperature, pH, and even the presence of certain molecules can influence their activity. It's like they have a sixth sense, constantly adapting to maintain optimal performance. So far, we've learned that enzymes are like tiny, highly specialized machines, each designed to perform a specific task with incredible precision and efficiency. But how do they actually work? What makes these microscopic marvels so effective at speeding up chemical reactions? Get ready to witness the elegant dance of enzyme action. It's a fascinating process that unfolds at the molecular level. It all starts with the enzyme and its substrate, the molecule it's going to transform. Remember the lock and key model? This model illustrates how the enzyme's active site is perfectly shaped to fit the substrate, much like a key fits into a lock. The enzyme has a specific active site, a groove or pocket that perfectly complements the shape of its substrate. This specificity ensures that each enzyme only catalyzes one particular reaction. When the substrate binds to the active site, it forms what's called an enzyme substrate complex. This complex is a temporary but crucial step in the reaction process. Think of it as a temporary hug between the enzyme and its target molecule. This hug brings the substrate into the perfect position for the reaction to occur. This interaction is crucial because it brings the substrate into the perfect position for the reaction to occur. The enzyme's active site 
not only binds the substrate, but also orients it in a way that makes the chemical reaction more likely to happen. Once the enzyme substrate complex is formed, the enzyme gets to work, lowering the activation energy of the reaction. This is like reducing the amount of energy needed to start the reaction, making it happen more easily and quickly. Imagine trying to push a boulder uphill. The enzyme is like a helpful friend who gives you a push, making the task much easier. This assistance is what makes enzymes so effective at catalyzing reactions. As the reaction progresses, the substrate is transformed into the product, the desired end result. This transformation is the culmination of the enzyme's catalytic action. The product then detaches from the enzyme, leaving the enzyme free to bind with another substrate molecule and start the dance all over again. This ability to repeatedly catalyze reactions makes enzymes incredibly efficient. It's a beautiful cycle of efficiency and precision. Enzymes continue to amaze us with their ability to facilitate complex biochemical reactions with such grace and accuracy. We've established that enzymes are essential for life, but did you know they're quite sensitive to their surroundings? These tiny biological catalysts are like the Goldilocks of the molecular world. They need conditions to be just right to function optimally. Just like we have ideal living conditions, enzymes have optimal conditions where they work their best. These conditions include factors like temperature, pH, and substrate concentration. Temperature is a big one. It can significantly influence how well an enzyme performs its job. Think about how you feel when it's too cold or too hot. You slow down, right? Enzymes are similar. When the temperature is just right, they work efficiently. But deviations can cause problems. Most enzymes have an optimal temperature range where they work most efficiently. This range is usually around the normal body temperature for human enzymes. Too cold and they slow down. Too hot and they can even denature, losing their shape and becoming inactive. Denaturation is like a permanent shutdown for the enzyme. Then there's pH, a measure of how acidic or basic a solution is. The pH level can also affect enzyme activity. Enzymes are picky about pH too. Each enzyme has a specific pH range where it functions best, and this range can vary widely between different enzymes. Each enzyme has an ideal pH range where it functions best. For example, pepsin, an enzyme in the stomach, works best in acidic conditions, while others prefer neutral or basic environments. Outside this range, their activity can be significantly reduced. The enzyme might not work at all if the pH is too far from its optimal range. Substrate concentration also plays a role. The amount of substrate available can influence how quickly an enzyme can catalyze a reaction. Imagine having too many cooks in the kitchen. It can get crowded and inefficient. Similarly, if the substrate concentration is too high, the enzyme can become saturated. When an enzyme is saturated, the reaction rate plateaus because the enzyme molecules are working at their maximum capacity. Adding more substrate won't speed up the reaction any further. And finally, we have enzyme inhibitors, molecules that can bind to enzymes and reduce their activity. These inhibitors can be naturally occurring or synthetic. Think of them as party poopers who interfere with the enzyme's work. They can prevent the enzyme from binding to its substrate or alter its shape so it can't function properly. Inhibitors can be competitive, vying for the active site or non-competitive, binding elsewhere and altering the enzyme's shape. Both types can significantly impact enzyme activity, making them crucial factors in regulating biochemical pathways. Enzymes are incredible, aren't they? These tiny biological catalysts speed up chemical reactions in our bodies and beyond, making life as we know it possible. But their awesomeness isn't confined to the microscopic world of our cells. They extend their magic to various aspects of our daily lives, impacting everything from our health to our household chores. In fact, enzymes play a vital role in countless everyday applications, from the food we eat to the medicine we take. Their versatility and efficiency make them indispensable in many industries. Let's start with something we all use, laundry detergent. It's a common household item, but did you know that enzymes are the secret behind its effectiveness? 
Many detergents contain enzymes like proteases and lipases that break down protein and fat stains respectively. These enzymes target and dismantle the molecules that make up stubborn stains. These enzymes make our clothes cleaner and brighter, all thanks to their stain-fighting superpowers. Without them, removing tough stains would be much more challenging. Next, let's head to the kitchen. Here, enzymes play a crucial role in food preparation and production, enhancing flavors and textures. Enzymes are essential in food production. They help in breaking down complex molecules into simpler ones, making food more digestible and nutritious. For example, the enzyme rennet, found in the stomach lining of calves, is used in cheese making to coagulate milk. This process transforms liquid milk into solid cheese, a staple in many diets. And in bread making, enzymes like amylase break down starch into sugar, providing food for the yeast and giving us that delicious bread texture we all love. Without these enzymes, bread wouldn't rise properly. But perhaps the most remarkable application of enzymes is in medicine. They are pivotal in diagnosing and treating various health conditions. Enzymes are used in diagnostic tests to detect specific molecules in blood or urine, helping diagnose diseases like diabetes and certain cancers. These tests are crucial for early detection and treatment. They're also used in therapeutic applications such as breaking down blood clots in heart attack patients or treating digestive disorders. Enzymes can target and dissolve harmful clots, saving lives in emergency situations. From the mundane to the life-saving, enzymes truly are the unsung heroes of our world, quietly working behind the scenes to make our lives better. Their impact is vast and often goes unnoticed. So next time you do laundry, enjoy a slice of cheese or take your vitamins, remember the amazing power of enzymes. They are the tiny powerhouses that keep our world running smoothly, one reaction at a time.